tied off to something, I would have half of my already built out into my tray, and I had half of it come in here, and the other six or 12 or whatever split like this. So what I do, no matter if I have six or 12, or whatever I'm doing, I put all my heat shrinks on at one time, I pick whichever side I'm working with, and I put all my heat shrinks on at one time. Because if you forget your heat shrink, it's kind of hard to go to the under end of the cable and push it all the way back to yourself. So now that I'm kind of set up, um, basically it's the same process. Strip clean cleave. It's just the end result is a little different. Open that white there for me. Right there. I have a tendency to, while I'm while I'm stripping, I have a tendency to go ahead and strip all mine, all six or twelve off each side at one time. Since I've got the tool in my hand, it just seems to work better for me to go ahead and do that. And then I can, um, let's wait on that. I got enough juice for just a few minutes. Wipe that one, it squeaks. Wipe that one, it squeaks. Now, with my cleaver, I do the same thing. I cleave one, I move over here and cleave the other. I do not stretch the fiber from one side to the other because that tends to make a mess. Um, I want to thank this one is going to be set to about 15 is our cleave angle um i'm going to use the end of this fiber as a uh, pointer so y'all can see do you see the electrodes that are right here y'all can look over my shoulder the metal mm -hmm. electrodes that's what's actually making the arc do you see the blue v grooves on each side mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. called v grooves because look what they make they make a v groove so when you set your fiber in this one you have to you have to kind of measure it and notice the curl so it's curl to the right curl to the left when you're dealing with 900 you have you have to work with that curl and make it as flat as possible but when i work with the fusion splicer i don't want my hands real shaky you know and i don't want to jam that and hit something so i use my fingers to brace myself so i'm typically looking i want my fiber to end up it's not cleaved yet so don't I want my fiber to end up halfway between the V-groove and the electrode like that. That's what I'm looking for in the middle. You'll see that? That's where you want it to land. After you cleave it, that's what you want it to land, right there. So I use my fingers to help, because if, if I'm trying to freehand it, it's kind of like freehanding shooting a rifle. You're going to be more accurate if you have a brace, so I use my hand to do that with. All right, so now, since I've got that, you know, I'm going to cleave the 15. Why do you choose 15? Because I know this machine's at 15. I need a trash box too. Right there. All right. This machine's 15. That's uh, 15 millimeters. Yep. All right. So now, same deal. Watch me. I've got my fingers pressed right here. I'm lowering my fiber into the V groove without jabbing it against anything. Then from this point, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna pick my elbow up, and as I pick my elbow up, I can manipulate that fiber and get it to go where I want to just by pinching my fingers together. Y'all can see that. And then when I get it where halfway between, I'm gonna clamp it down. If I leave a large amount of slack at an angle and I close that, it pulls the fiber back. So you mess up. Now bring my cleaver to this side. Fifteen again. Get that out of the way. Same deal. Prop with my finger. Roll my elbow up a little bit until it's all flat. Close it down. So what I want you to do is peek in here and see the fibers halfway between the V groove and the electrode. That's what you want. The machine will do the rest. If you can get the end of those fibers in like that, the machine will do the rest. All right. I'm set to, what was this? This is multi-mode. I'm set to multi-mode and it tells me that. So I'm ready. So if this machine I have, it's not automatic. You can set some automatic things in there, but it's looking for me to hit the set button. It's going to start bringing my fibers together. It's going to do a pre-arc and it really quickly does a pre-arc and it burns it. Look at my cleave angles, 0.8 and 0.1.
that's reasonable. Um, you don't want that 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 cleave angle in the like the high ones or the twos. It'll probably automatically kick kick it out when you do that. But that's a seamless burn right there. There's no there's no uh, bubbles or anything in that. That looks really good. So Lee, what's the pre arc for? The pre arc is to burn off any dust that will be there. It's a very short flash. And if you ever know.